Nice. Rosanna is the biggest Hey guys, it's real. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is two parts. One of the parts I'm gonna be answering most Googled questions about me. This is round two. I did this a couple years ago and I got so many requests to do this again. So my sister had this made. I don't know any of the questions. There's tape here. I actually do not Google myself. But for this part of the video, I have a very special announcement. I made my own home organizational line. <laughs> I teamed up with one of my favorite companies in the entire world I design. I've been using their products for years. You can spot them, you can clock them in my previous home tour videos all throughout my kitchen and pantry. And now we are working together and we made my own home organizational line. There's a ton of products. There's canisters, bins, and bowls, and cake domes, and a bunch of goodies behind me. They're on the counter behind me. I will show you them later, some of my favorites and how to use them. But now they are finally ready for you all to see and bring home with you. You can find them at one of my favorite stores, The Container Store. I'll be putting links down below, so if you'd like to check out my line, you can there, or you can head over to The Container Store. I'm so excited about this, you guys. Not only do they help organize your home, your life, are super cute, but for the first time ever, these bins are made out of 100% recycled plastic bottles. That has never happened before. I am so proud of this. A lot of the bins that you see in stores now, now, in the past, they're kind of like a percentage. They're like 50% recycled materials and then 50% other materials are virgin plastics, not these. These are made out of 100% post-consumer plastic bottles. These are plastic bottles that we are directly diverting from ending up to be in a landfill. We are literally turning waste, melting them down and creating something that is so beautiful that you can use to organize your house. So what I have in my hand is about 39 plastic bottles. And this is about how many bottles it takes to make one of these canisters. You guys can see we're diverting this many bottles from a landfill to make something into something super cute and usable for your home. This is insane, you guys. Oh, geez. I'll pick that up later. I'm so excited and so proud of this. I can't wait for you guys to go check these out. They are also BPA free, they are food safe, and all the canisters are airtight at the top with the lid, and then the bins aren't. Those just have the free looser lids. You can use those more for like organization in your drawers, in your office, you know, those kind of items that don't need to be airtight. I'm a super busy person. I'm always on the go. I'm doing a million things, so I like to stay really organized because that helps helps me keep everything together. These tools have helped me and I just can't wait to share them with you. Okay, now let me walk you through and show you some of my favorite things from the line. All right, we're here in the kitchen and behind me on the counter is just a few products from my home organizational line, but I'm gonna walk you through a few of my favorite, starting with one of my favorites, this adorable cake dome. Or you could use it as a dessert display, whatever you fancy. I am today in here, I've got a bunch of muffins. It's not just for cakes, you can put muffins, scones, cookies, anything that you've been baking up in the kitchen. I love it because it's super lightweight. Again, it's using that same lightweight wood that the lids are made out of. And the top is not made out of glass, so it's not super heavy. And if I drop it, I don't need to worry about it breaking. And what I love about the lid too is it looks like glass. We created and designed this little lip that goes around the bottom of it so that when you place down the cover and you've got a cake in there, your desserts or cupcakes, that it won't hit the desserts inside of it. I thought that that was very important to me as a baker or if I wanted to like travel with them. It wasn't specifically designed to travel, but you can. In here I've got some muffins, but then also over here I've got a cake inside to show you guys the scale. Now this is a six inch cake, but you can comfortably fit a nine inch cake inside. So I would say anywhere between six to nine inches, this is on the smaller side, fits really well. So the line has a bunch of canisters and bins. So all of the canisters, these ones right here, like I showed you before, are airtight. I have a bunch of these in the pantry. I'll show you them soon. And then these ones and these ones are bins. So they've got lids, but they're not airtight. And you can either use a divider. There's these little clear inserts that can go in between. They come in all different sizes, whether you have like a big bin or a small bin, you can get them in any size. Or you can do these clear inserts 
right here. So these are kind of the two options within a bin. Whatever bin size they are, whether they're this smaller size or this bigger size, they have a thin divider or actual canisters, which I love because sometimes I need to organize a bin within a bin. We need binception. We need bin organizationception. One of my most favorite things that I wanted to create, the nickname is the snacker. That's what we've been calling it when we made it. It is just one of the bins with a bunch of clear inserts, but this I keep in my fridge. Bunch of cute snacks. It's clear so I can see through it. It's easy to organize, refill, and reset stock and I love this because I've noticed that whenever I'm buying veggies and I want to eat something healthy out of the fridge like I get a bag of baby carrots it gets shoved to the back of the fridge I, I don't see it and if I don't see it I don't eat it and I end up not eating them and they're shoved in the back there and then I never get to them until they've gone bad so I wanted to create something where I could see all of my snacks in the front of the fridge and they were ready like grab and go one of my favorite movies of all time is clueless and I was truly in inspired by Cher. Throughout the movie, she reaches into the fridge and her fridge is totally organized. She pulls out a bin of carrots, boom, and she just has all these healthy snacks on hand. They're ready to go and I thought, how amazing, how cool, I want a healthy snacker. And I love healthy snacks, so I've got veggies in here, but I also use it for fruits, different little fruits for me and my nephew to snack on. And I'm also a baker, so I use this to organize some of my baking products over in the pantry. And I wanted to show you the different options. So here's the bin and I've used it to organize some of my sprinkles, because I'm always different decorating and stuff. You can really get creative and put this together however you'd like. These are perfect for food, but really you can use them to organize anything. You can use them to organize crafts, office stuff, anything in your drawer. They're really incredible. And because of the lid, you can stack them as well. So in my pantry, I have organized a bunch of my food with this system. And what I love is that they've got different heights for pastas and snacks. You can stack them however you'd like. And depending on the height of your shelves in your pantry, you can really adjust it to whatever you've got. And one of the questions I get asked a lot is, Ro, if I'm putting food in these clear bins, how do I know the expiration date? Because if I'm storing them in the box, I can look at the expiration date. If I'm storing them in this clear container, how do I do the expiration date? And I think that's a great question. I wanted to show you how I do it. So what you do is in the back right here, you take a chalk pen. These are really inexpensive. They're super easy. And with this material, they wipe right off. It's that easy. So you write the expiration date on the back and then when you're out, you're empty, you can either refill from the same bag if you have some more back stock or you just erase and put in the new dates. So I really hope that helps. That's a little pro tip for home organization for everything to look beautiful and be very functional. You all are gonna be seeing these canisters all over my kitchen and my house. They are labeled on the top. Remember how I said I keep dog treats in here? Well, I felt bad, I gotta give the dogs. You ladies have been so patient today, I just had to give you one. Who wants a Grandma Lucy's? Here you go, good girls. Look how cute these bowls are. You can stack them. You will be seeing these on my countertop because they're just too cute. But because I bake a lot, I've been putting icing in these and storing them in the fridge. But again, these are the ones that are airtight and they are the color coconut. I'm in love with these. They are super functional. They are beautiful. This material is matte, so it's very Instagrammable. It photographs really well in your kitchen. It looks just like ceramic, but it's not super heavy. You're only carrying the weight of whatever is inside and not like the weight of heavy ceramic bowls breaking my wrist like when I was a waitress. So there's not enough time in a video to show you everything in the line. I'm gonna be making some more videos of a kitchen tour and a pantry tour using my products, but I just wanted to give you an idea of a lot of my favorites that are in the line and show you a bunch of the 100% recycled plastic items that are available and the bioresin items. These are called open front bins and I love them because you can stack them right on top of each other and you can put a bunch of different snacks in here. I use these in the pantry and I'll put chip bags in here or popcorn or little nuts. I also have a couple turntables in the line. One is a little bit smaller. I have a bunch of these in the pantry so stay tuned for a pantry tour. This one has a divider. Dividers are optional. This divider is amazing. It makes things so much easier. It really keeps things like if you want to do 
cooking oils on this side, and then you wanna do seasoning on this side and have this by the stove top when you're cooking. And then there's a much larger turntable. This one's called the spinner. These ones are great for large corner spaces, whether in pantries or even in deep drawers. All right, those are some of the products from my line. I really hope you guys enjoyed them. I can't wait for you to go and check them out. I am obsessed with these and I have more videos to come. Now, let's go check out the web's most searched questions. All right, now without further ado, I'm gonna be answering the web's most searched questions about me. Again, my sister had this board made and she put some tape over them. So I'm just gonna peel off the tape and answer the question. I haven't seen these questions yet and I do not Google myself, mostly for self-esteem reasons. Okay, great, let's move on. What do the people Google? What do they ask? Does Rosanna Pancino have a brother? I have one sibling and that one sibling is Molly, but I also have MatPat. They say you can't pick your family, but I have picked MatPat and Donald to be my brothers, so I don't know who they are, but they don't know my business. Okay, next one. Does Rosanna Pancino sing opera? I don't know. Just kidding. Yes, I do. In high school, I started as the lead character, Sandy, and then in college, I took advanced solo performance classes in singing and opera. Now, I'm making YouTube videos. <laughs> Let me know if you'd like me to sing more opera. I will link to some below in the description. I think we've done O Mio Babino Caro. I also recorded a really fun Phantom of the Opera mashup with my friend Sam. We were just having fun with that one. We recorded that in a day. But anyways, I will link down below to some of the songs that I've done. Is Rosanna Pancino. Nice. Nope, not at all. I don't have a nice bone in my body. Sugar and spice and nothing nice. That's me. I am just a mean person. Should I call someone and ask if I'm nice or mean? Oh, hey, beautiful. I'm answering the web's most searched questions. Okay. Okay, and so somebody has Googled, is Rosanna Pancino nice? Rosanna is the biggest raging Yes, that's what I've been trying to say. Lauren, I said the same thing. I don't have any friends. I don't work with anybody. I hate everything and I bite people. And you, oh, that's the, I haven't experienced the bite yet. But, yeah, I haven't, I haven't but done that. I feel like I should give my real answer. Rosanna is the nicest human being I have ever met. I feel like you don't even have a mean bone in your body. I got a small one in there. I reserve I it for it. when I'm in an argument with Mike usually. All right, thanks, beautiful. I appreciate it. Mom, what are you doing outside? This is a, one of the Googled questions is, is Rosanna Pantsino nice? And I said, nope, I'm the meanest person in the whole wide world. Oh, no you aren't. That's why, I, well, Mom, I'm trying to create a bad girl reputation. Oh, oh she's, she's a bad Yeah, thank you, Mom. <laughs> Mom, since I'm so mean, how much do I charge you in rent? Uh, can we talk about that later? Yeah, zero dollars. <laughs> Mom, get out of my video. <sighs> Give me my space. I don't even think I need to answer this question. I think people can just answer it for me. Is Rosanna Pancino a twin? <laughs> no, I have a sister, Molly. We're three years apart, but a lot of people think that we're twins. Growing up, Molly and I look much more similar, almost identical, even in high school. Now as adults, we're starting to look a little bit different, but next question. Ooh, this is so satisfying peeling this. How many dogs does Rosanna Pancino have? Well, I wish this number was higher than it was, you guys, because this number is so small, it's only this many, two. I've got little blueberry muffin sleeping over here, and then coconut is sleeping over there. And then my sister's dog, Henry, he comes over every day, but that is my sister's dog. And then my boyfriend's mom's dog is here as well. Her name's May May, and she's 17 years old in people years, and I don't know what that is in dog years. Let me know in the comments if you know how old that is in dog years. All right, let's next question. Let's get it going here. Satisfying Peel, how many subscribers does Rosanna Pancino have. At the time we're filming this, I think I have 13.5 million subscribers, but if you would like to make it 13.6, subscribe down below, it's free. All right, next question. How many siblings does Rosanna Pancino 
have. Again, I only have one sister, Molly, my younger sister, who I love, but I wish I had more siblings. All right, here's another one. How tall is Rosanna Pansino? <gasps> I appreciate this question. The question wasn't how short is Rosanna Pantsino? How tall is Rosanna Pantsino? Oh, very tall. I'm super tall. I am four foot, 10 inches. Who does Rosanna Pantsino play in space with Markiplier? My friend Markiplier made two YouTube originals. The first one was Heist, the other one was In Space with Markiplier, and in both of them, I'm the scientist. I'm trying to find the anomaly. There's like a time anomaly, and I'm kind of this kooky lab scientist. I loved it, it was challenging, and it was super fun. I think it was multiple pages, and they film it in one take, because the camera is a first person, like, narrative story. So we're performing all one take, and it's a long monologue narrative, and I I really challenged myself with that and it was so much fun. Who does Rosanna Pizzino play in the Emoji Movie? Oh! <laughs> Yes, okay, so I am in the Emoji Movie. I'm only in there for a few seconds. They post one of my videos in the movie, so I'm just myself being myself, so you can spot it in the film. And yes, it's accredited, and so if you go to my IMDb page, I was in the Emoji Movie. Okay, here's another one. Who does Rosanna Pancino marry, wait, who does Rosanna Pancino married in Escape the Night, that's not even a sentence. I think it's who, who does she marry in Escape the Night? In one of, oh, I am a catch. In Escape the Night season four, I may or may have not married a super villain ancient Chinese emperor. You gotta do what you gotta do. It wasn't a love match and the marriage was very short. Who is Rosanna Pancino? That is a great question. I'm gonna leave this question up to you guys. Please let me know in the comments down below, who is Rosanna Pancino? What are Rosanna Pancino's dogs' names? Again, I have two dogs, and their names are Blueberry Muffin and Coconut. What is Rosanna Pancino's Instagram. You guys, all of my social media accounts are my name. They're all the same. My account on Instagram, Rosanna Pancino. My account on Facebook, Rosanna Pancino. My account on YouTube, Rosanna Pancino. My account on Snapchat, Rosanna Pancino. Ooh, this is a when question. When does Rosanna Pancino post on YouTube? I used to post a video every Tuesday and now I post on Saturdays. But fun fact, I have never missed an upload. I have never missed an upload since the beginning of when I started YouTube. I've also been having fun posting shorts too. So now I'm posting a main channel video every Saturday and then I'm also posting like a fun little short as just a little add-on, a little something fun. When did Rosanna Pancino Start YouTube. My very first video that I posted on YouTube was in 2011. Last question, last but not least, where does Rosanna Pantsino shop? In general, a lot of places, a lot of local stores, and I'm assuming this is about clothes because I've talked about being really petite and it's harder to find things that fit. I could make a whole video on this, so let me know if that's something you're interested in because I'm extremely petite and I'm always looking for great stores with petite sizes. I'm also thinking of doing a closet tour, my new closet tour video. I could show you all of the petite-friendly brands that I have been wearing over the years some of the old stuff and the new stuff. If you would find that helpful, let me know. All right, that does it for the video. I answered the web's most searched questions and I couldn't be more excited to announce my new home organizational product line that's gonna be at the Container Store. One last reminder, I'll put a link down below where you can check it out. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see an in-depth tour of my new kitchen and pantry with all of the new home organizational products. I'm gonna show you inside every drawer. I don't know about you, but I 
love watching videos about home organization. I love seeing in all the drawers and how other people organize. It gives me ideas of how to organize my stuff better and just make my life easier. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see because I would love to make it. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. All right, thanks again for watching, you guys. Bye-bye. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here.